Welcome to Viewed by DJS PRC. Today we have the newest Traxxas vehicle, the Fortec Drift Mustang. I do have the red one right here. Uh, and I want to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. Go visit their website, www.greathobbies.com. I wanted to show this vehicle because it's tracks is going in a different route uh finally going in the drifts in the drifting world it is based off the fourth uh, chassis uh high angle steering a lot of people like that uh 48 pitch gears it has the high torque 2075 plastic gears and maybe i would yeah uh, Clippus body, oil field shocks. This is the XL5 electronic uh, speed control with the uh, Titan 21 turn, uh, drift 21 turn motor. It does come with uh, two set of tires, hard and soft compound tires included. And they do offer it in multiple colors. Now we do have the metallic copper. I would prefer the meta metallic blue. Well, even the metallic green would have been uh, nice too. But again, battery and charge not included. I don't want to take it off his uh, packaging because it is for sale. It's well detailed. New light options. Unfortunately, Traxxas, you could have, I don't know, done yourself a little bit more out. Uh, for the clip, you go in front here. For the back one, you have to go way, way, way up to here. It is on clip right now. It is slippery, son of a gun. Oop, is it on clip? Yeah, it reclipped itself. If you see the clippers are way, way, way down, and their front is way, way in the top. And like I said, there's no light options. But there you go. You do have the Fortec chassis. It's a nice design. I'm not going to give it a bad rep on this one here. Uh, it is a proven chassis. Some stuff I do like. Um, the the links they're all steel yes the balls are plastic still but at least they're steel they could have went cheaper steel like the chrome ones the drive shafts are they're steel too shocks are nice they went for sp uh, colorized springs instead of being like white but they're still not 100% uh, adjustable. You need to put pins in it. That I don't. I like it, but I don't like it. And like I said, the servo they could have put the steel gears in it instead of plastic. But again, the camber on this guy here is <laughs> ridiculous. That thing turns. That thing really turns. Uh, plastic chassis. It's pretty much standard now. Uh, if you look like even my my Hoonigan, my Ken Block uh, Tribute, it is a plastic chassis. It is based off the Slash. Uh, we do have on the channel to the uh, M Sport from Sens. That one's semi-plastic, semi-aluminum. Pretty much standard now. Uh, you'll have a higher end. Drifters will be basically uh, carbon fiber to be more light. But besides that, this is still an, an awesome vehicle. Let's say you are looking for a vehicle to start drifting. Uh, yes, I would recommend the Ford Tech from Traxxas. Go to your local hobby shop. And if you're local to one, uh, one of the great hobbies, I would say definitely stop in. Visit the store. It's worth it. I'm in the Ottawa uh, store right now, um, and yeah, 
totally worth it. And if, like I said, if you're looking for a drifter, go ahead, pick yourself a Fortec drift. They do have other options, but even if it's brushed, you'll still have fun with it. Believe me, it's still fast. You don't need to go brushless uh, to be able to have fun with these vehicles here. Brushed, let's say on a 5,000 uh, milliamp uh, NIMH battery, basic battery, uh, you'll drift maybe for half hour, even something to get more time. It's hard, depends how you, you're on the throttle. Uh, if you're feathering your throttle, you'll gain more time. But seriously, if you're looking for a drifter, come and pick up, pick up yourself a uh, Fortec uh, Drift from Tra Traxxas. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to visit Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com don't forget to subscribe too. It does help the channel and I do appreciate it. Thank you.